three blowout losses in a week, is it more a matter of the competition for the most part, or is there something you look at as a common thread in the three uh, games? I don't know. I can't answer that at this point. I mean, this obviously felt different um, in the first half than the Cleveland-New York uh, games. Um, so each game is different. Uh, I don't see necessarily trends, but we're going to dig in and, and find solutions and find a way collectively that we can, uh, you know, get to f more consistency. Um, you know, that's the bottom line. We've been saying it enough, um, but we'll find a way uh, to get that done. Eric, they, they do this too. A lot of teams, but that start of that third quarter was yeah. it just like a freight train you couldn't stop. Yeah, was, I mean, you, know. there's, you can't take away everything with, with that team, but uh, I, as much as any team in the league, when they smell blood, I mean, they, they go for it right then, right then and right there. And um, so many of their guys... Um, just come alive um you know when they start to to get it rolling uh, and uh each one of them become ignitable like we have a couple guys that be, are, are ignitable they have a roster full of guys that really start uh foaming at the mouth when the game starts to turn like that um you know we really wanted to come in trying to take away some of the easy ones so they got a bunch of easy ones to start that third quarter and then uh the dam broke um and then they started making the tough ones. Uh, you know, the tough ones, uh, as long as we're not fouling and we're getting a contest, okay, that's one thing. But the, the disappointing thing was all the easy ones. Um, even in the first half th that we were giving up um, from a lack of discipline. Our guys compete their, their, you know, their butts off in, in the first half, um, but we didn't do it with enough discipline on both ends of the court. Speaking of that first half, what do you think worked so well in those first two quarters that maybe didn't go as I'll, well? I'll find half? out. Um, you know, a large part of the, this game, and I don't want to just give it to that because uh, I, I do say this out of respect, is, is they, uh, Golden State just took it to a, a different level. What I wanted to see was a competitive response where it doesn't go to 30, okay, where it's still in striking distance and maybe it has to get – uh, a little bit slower, a little bit more uh, disciplined, a little bit more um, ugly um, with, within the rules uh, just to keep it within striking distance. But once we started to break down, um, you know, from a competitive disposition standpoint and discipline uh, standpoint, then it was a snowball rolling down the hill. And, and they did what they, what they do. Eric, Dion's probably been about as inconsistent lately as anybody having nights with his shot, one, one a 10, oh, a 10, three, but in, 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 in between sprinkling and better games. Is, do you see anything when he gets going or when he gets starts slow, slow? I mean, it seems it just both ways goes that, you know, keeps going. Yeah, you know, I like the work that he's been putting in now the last couple of weeks. Um, it hasn't necessarily... Uh, been the results uh, that we've that we've wanted, and I know he wants better results as well. But I I, I like the work that he's been put, putting in. He's been diligent about trying to, um, you know, take more responsibility, and making better plays for the team. I thought he started the game very aggressive, getting to the basket, uh, making some good reads. Um, then he missed some open ones, um, and then the game just got out of control in the, in the second half. It was tough to to evaluate from there. He just has to stay with it, and uh, and we'll get him in spots where he can be aggressive. One play by Bam where he was matched up with Steph and forced him into that into that bad play. Is that just a glimpse of his defensive potential? Yeah, I know he's done that with LeBron. He switched on Jimmy, Jimmy Butler earlier this season. Yeah, um, you know those are the the obvious ones that that people notice. But he does a lot of little things, a lot of little things right now. He doesn't. Uh, have a firm grasp of our defensive system yet, uh, but he's learning and he's picking it up very quickly. Um, you know, so he's he's uh, getting more disciplined, uh, understanding the nuances of our pick and roll defense in particular. So that that's going to be remarkably different even three months from now. Um, but yeah, that that is a an example of his physical gifts and his discipline. Um, you know, Curry would look like he was trying to get him up on a shot fake a couple of times and, and try to get him a bite for the three to try, drive by him. But he's very, very disciplined. He did that to, um, you know, T Towns and Butler early, early in the year when both those guys are very savvy. That's when you knew, okay, he has, um, 
you know, some competitive discipline in the heat of the moment.